Measure. Measuring and drawing lines. What is it? Process of finding the number that shows the amount of something. Why? Can identify the correct amount of a medicine for a patient. Interesting fact. Crabs are decapods from the crustacean family. Decapod means ten-footed. Deca, ten. Pod, footed. So therefore, crabs have ten legs. However, the first pair are its claws, which are called chili. Okay, so now let's go ahead and talk about measuring and the steps in order to do that. Step one, grab a ruler. Step two, put the zero of the ruler on one side. And step three, count. So we're going to measure the line to the nearest centimeter. So let's go ahead and add a ruler. And put the zero on one side. And now all we have to do is count. Okay, um, as you can see, the, the halfway points between the whole numbers are there, like 0 0.5, 1.5. Normally they are not there. I've added them so it's easier to count. Um, so let's go ahead and blow up the end of the ruler so it's easier to see. And let's go ahead and start counting at 5.5 because that is closest to the end of the line. And we have 5.5. And next we have 5.6 centimeters is your answer. Now let's go ahead and take a look at, um, at changing that to millimeters. So as you can see on the bottom right, you have 1 centimeters equal to 10 millimeters. 1.1 centimeters is equal to 11 millimeters. 1.2 centimeters is equal to 12 millimeters. So now the, we're going to go ahead and change 5.6. And some of you may have already noticed that it is going to be 56 millimeters. Now let's take a look at example 2 of 4. So let's go ahead and, and grab the ruler, place the zero on one side. Now we're going to go ahead and blow up the image so you can see it easier. Now we're going to once again count. Uh, starting at 3.5 because it's closest to the end of the line and go and go to 3.6 3.7 and finally 3.8 centimeters now let's go ahead and convert that to millimeters it's once again one centimeter is equal to 10 millimeters so all we have to do is just change the decimal to the one place to the right to get 38 millimeters now what happens if you're if you start off with Instead of asking this to, the, to, to measure the line to the nearest centimeter, you're asked to measure the line to the nearest millimeter. You do the same thing. Grab a ruler, put the zero on one side, and count. And in this particular case, it, um, we don't have 0 0.5 in the middle. We have 5 between 0 and 10. And between 10 and 20, we have 15. So And so forth and so on. Now we're going to go ahead and blow it up. We're going to go ahead and start counting at 45, 46, 47, 48, and finally 49 millimeters. Now we're going to go ahead and convert that to the nearest centimeter. Now we're going to go ahead and as you can see once again one centimeter is equal to 10 millimeters. Now we're going to be working back uh, the other way so you get answer is equal to 4.9 centimeters. Now let's take a look at the last example. Measure the line to the nearest millimeter and then you get uh, that you grab the ruler, you put it on, you put the zero next to the end to the to the end of the line, and now we're going to blow it up so you can ease, uh, see it easier. This time we're going to start at 50 because that's the closest to the end of the line, and we count by ones: 51, 52 millimeters is your answer. And if you want to want to convert it to the measure to uh, measure the line to the nearest centimeter, you can then go for uh, just measure it, or you can just Go ahead and put 5.2 centimeters because we know it is 52 millimeters. Now, here we go. It is your turn. So measure these uh, two lines and see what you get. Um, so measure it in centimeters and millimeters. And I will show you the answers in 3, 2, and 1. Here you have it. If you got both uh, correct, well done. If not, there's always tomorrow.